Hey there. Well, I guess I have to thank Computing Forever, Dave Cullen, for suggesting uh, other browsers. Uh, he suggested the Brave browser. Looks like a little... It's a, a lion icon. And uh, it's based on Chromium, which is what Chrome is based on as well, but uh, uh, this isn't handled by Google. And uh, it seems to be very fast, seems to have the options I want. I uh, recommend checking that out. And uh, that's just one thing I wanted to say in this video. The second, though, is, as you see, this is not the normal uh, layout and definitely not the normal color scheme for YouTube. Um, they've also changed their, their logo, as many of you may have noticed. How you get to the new theme is by uh, going to youtube.com slash new and then it will say hey, hey a new look for YouTube get it now so you say get it now and then once you're signed in you can click on your profile image and you've got dark theme right now I have it set for on when you when you turn it off of course it goes to this dark theme on there we go I prefer the dark theme I've never understood the obsession for so long with trying to imitate paper. To me, this sort of thing is much easier on the eyes. To some people, maybe they feel differently, but I prefer not having some bright thing glaring at me. Now, they have found that uh, people have been getting eye damage out of really bright screens pointed at them all the time. And I'm like, okay, so... We're going to continue to, to just focus on these white pages with black text, or are they finally going to move away from that? Well, YouTube, it looks like, has moved away from that. They're, you're able to have a dark theme. I look forward to Windows having that kind of thing, too, like you were able to do back in Windows 98 and Windows XP, if you used it, and XP if you used the old themes. You know, maybe they'll give a return to that. That would be nice. But, uh, anyway, um, enjoy, because I think a dark theme is awesome. 